Hello everyone and welcome back. Now I've got a sneak peek to a brand new update, update 1.2. So I'm going to be jumping in and talking about that. And whilst I'm doing that, I'll probably just jump in and do a few more of my um, showdowns here. You can see I've cleared the first row out now and I was going through and doing it on hard also. Plus we've, um, I think I finished this on hard, this one. Uh, oh no, I started it and I was I was raiding all of these so I could get as many uh, and I was just converting it straight to XP so I could use it on Mr. Incredible. But anyway, so what I want to take a look at is, actually let's just do some of the tailspin event whilst I'm, whilst I'm chatting. So one of the most important things at the moment and one of the most in this update that's coming out and like I said, this is going to be quite a big update is the visual effects buff. Now they're going to be changing the appearance of different status effects just to make it an e easier visual communication in combat. The intent is to help make effects in encounters more sorry, more clear and the system will continue to be developed in future updates. So basically what's happening is they've made these big uh, when I say big, it's not going like, to take up the whole screen or anything, but they've made these symbols that will pop up next to the character's name when things happen or in the character's status effects to show you shot, lure, indestructible, heal block, critical attacks, resistance, etc, etc, etc. So it'll be quite a nice little buff that you can go and read through to get this really nice way of seeing how everything works, what the damage does, what it's doing, and it's just a nice little learning curve within the game to be able to get a better understanding of what everything does, why it does it, and what characters do what. So I really like that because I'm going to say right now I'm not the world's greatest player at this game. I, I really do enjoy and I love making videos but having this is going to be a great help for me to get a bit of a better understanding of each little buff that's going to happen so I'm happy with that. Now we've got a Big dungeon update. Now again, I am not going to read through this word by word. I will put a link in the top of this video to the update so you can jump in and see it. But we do have a brand new dungeon called the Dangerous Dungeon. Now there's gonna be new floors, new buffs, new um, enemies, new things happening. There's a lot to read here, so I'm not gonna go through it line by line, but we've got a new dungeon with new floor buffs and chests, which is very, very cool. And we've got a few updates on some of the UI in the dungeon as well, which is nice. These are just really nice, like little quality of life updates, which I really think are good. So that's very good. Then we've got a Guardian milestone update, which is obviously this is when you go into the Guardian. Um, I'll show you in a... Let's finish this battle off and I'll show you. Uh, where's my... Um, there you go. Smacking it with a pan. I quite like it. I do quite like um, that bear. How have I just forgotten his name? I was literally just fighting him. Oh, we upgraded Tangled as well. Get a few more bits in there. Lovely. Cool. So one of the other updates that they're focusing on as well, which is going to be quite a nice one, is when you're on the character's milestones. So if I show you, because I'm quite far behind on Mickey Mouse's milestones, actually. Um, Guardian milestone requirements have been lowered to be in line with the already previous lowered requirements for rank up. So they've just kind of balanced everything out a little bit. So like for example, a tier 6, get a Mickey Mouse talent to level 5, they'll probably drop that down. So they're just changing that all up a little bit, which I really, really like and think again is a very, very nice little touch there. But it's just going to help. And then we have, they've done a nice rearrange of some of the keywords which is some of the buffs you'll see in battle just to again clear it all up and make it seem a lot easier and then we've got heavier knockback interactions have been fixed so they've changed the way that bosses can't bosses can no longer be knocked back by heavy attack from guardians i think it was always meant to be like that but there was just an issue when they released the game maybe they didn't catch it you know these things happen it is not the end of the world now there's some characters here that have been reworked. Now, these are the ones that I like to read about. So, first of all, funny enough, he was actually just on the home screen. Aladdin has had some changes to him. So, fixed an issue with the elite talent Shadow in Sand, where it wasn't lowering aggression from ranged and support enemies. So, that's quite a nice buff on Aladdin. Just fixing up a few little bits and pieces there. Captain Hook. Fixed an issue 
with elite talent overboard, where the knockback from Captain Hook's basic attacks were bypassing knockback immunities. So that's fixed him. I, I guess technically you could say it was a nerf if you were using him because of that exploit. Fixed an issue where if an enemy gained lure from Mike, the mark from Captain Hook wouldn't be removed. So they've just fixed that. So they balanced him out. They've removed that exploit. So I guess you could say it has nerfed him, but it's just balanced him out now. Then we've got Eve. Now Eve's had quite a bit of rework to her. And I guess that's because she's quite underwhelming. She looks cool, but yeah. So special ability cooldown has been decreased from 12 seconds to nine. Now that's very, very good because I mean, they say this one here. So he does six times damage to all enemies in a small area around the current target. 12 seconds is actually mental. So getting that knocked down to nine means you can get that out a few more times. So that's actually, she might actually be very, very good. Then advanced talent feedback boost. Increase the chance to inflict a shock with heavy attack. So there's more chance that's gone up by... So instead of it being 10 to 50, there's a 20 to 100% chance for it to happen. So you're more likely to actually obtain it on there. Elite talent. The additional damage dealt by Eve's special ability for each shock on the target has been increased to 50 to 100 from 10 to 50. So if you're lucky, you can get loads and loads of damage there. Fix an issue with, adva with advanced talent polarity shift, where the knockback from Eve's shield was bypassing knockback immunity. So there, there seems to have been quite a lot of issues with knockback. So that's quite nice. Then we've got a update from Hero here as well. So our boy Hero. Fix an issue where Hero's heavy attack from his signature ability was knocking back bosses. So again, like they said, they're just fixing that bosses shouldn't be knocked back. Mr. Incredible's got one as well. Fix an issue where Mr. Incredible was able to knock back bosses. Again, just touching on the boss knockback to keep that balance. We've also got Mr. Incredible upgraded level 48 here, which is lovely. Scrooge. Scrooge, again, is just uh, dis stopping the knockback on the bosses. Um, yeah. So, and Fractured Zerg, that was the enemy of Zerg, has been fixed as well. Now, there's a, there's a huge chunk of little things. Fix an issue where some Guardians might hide behind other Guardians in a victory screen. Fix an issue where using special abilities with cinematic special abilities turned on could cause other Guardians to use their special abilities without being pressed. So, again, there's lots of lovely little tweaks and bug fixes. Now, this update will be coming out very, very soon. It will be a full... Um, a full game update and it's coming out tomorrow so i just wanted to make this quick video for you to kind of run over these updates give you a little insight to the to the um update notes top link in the description have a look read for yourself enjoy the game have a have fun guys and have a nice week and i'll see all you legends in the next one